Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I want to show you something um, out of the ordinary. We did a video, well the last two ago, where I was applying an acrylic finish on some stairs and I got a lot of comments on it. People say, hey, you can't you do that. Uh, it's, why not paint it? Well, I'll clarify it a little bit more because, okay, this house here, I've been here 28 years, and you might look at this house and some of you say, hey, I don't believe you have a wood house. Well, neither do I. Plus, it's the bank owns it, not me. When I get about 105, it'll finally be mine. Anyhow, I want to show you something about acrylic finishes that are made specifically for stucco walls. Can you use them for other things? You could. Do I recommend them? I do it for myself and my friends. So I'm not telling you guys to do this, but I'll show you what works. Okay, now you see all those you see all these acrylics right here. These are a lot of acrylic finishes. You name it, uh, drive it, the BMI, the Paroxys, the Synergy, there's Carson's, there's Stucco Flex, there's maybe 10 more. Well, I did the stair video and my buddy Jerry Pozo, who actually worked for Drive It for about 20 years, now he works for uh, BMI, said, Damn, Kirk, I didn't know you could use that for concrete or stairs or anything like that. I said, Well, I have been, but it's my own stuff. Here's a tip, guys. Okay, if you were to paint these, I, I, I put an acrylic finish on here about, I've been in this house 28 years, about 27 years ago, I put an acrylic here. And everybody's driving over this, back and forth, the mixer's been dropped on it. So it had a few holidays. My wife said, baby, you fix everybody else's place, why not make this look good? And I just happen to have a product that is a color that I like. So here's what you guys can do. If you have a swimming pool area and it needs to be spruced up a little bit, the beauty of this stuff is it has sand in it. And you could paint it on with a brush, water it down, paint it on, just like Lou did here. Lou did this uh, a couple days ago, but I'm trying to explain it. I'll, I'll, show you, I'll tell you another thing about these acrylic finishes versus paint on, say, a walkway. About 20 years ago, I had about, um, oh, 30 cans. And what we did was we mixed 30 cans in a big garbage can. It was bigger than this. And we used a drill and we drilled it up. Now we had this can full. My buddy had a swimming pool and it had cracks all over and kids were running and slipping. So he said, what product do you recommend? I said, well, I got the products. I got like 25 gallon pails, man. I'll give them to you can't guarantee the color so what we did is we put all the pails and we almost filled it up poured some water in took a drill drilled it up then we just took uh, rollers with fat naps and did it and rolled out his whole driveway and what did that do guys well it made the, the, the ground um, water resistant and it made it slip proof um, Matter of fact, my buddy Ron Roberts called me the other day and says, hey man, I got like 20, 30 pails. Do you know a place to get rid of it because I don't need it? He was looking at the uh, dumps and I said, well, I was going to do a video on that. You could post it online and just put other acrylic uses. That's what I'm going to call this video. Other, other acrylic stucco wall uses. Um, say like west side building materials. My buddy Tom sometimes calls me and says, Kirk, I got like a special order. There's like 40 buckets here. Can you use this stuff? I can't anymore. And he, they're giving it away sometimes, these orders that people don't want. But you can use it on, on concrete. You could use it on driveways. The driveway we did about, I don't know, 20 years ago, it is still there. The color is still there. It looks good. In fact, there was one little area he had up with a barbecue. And so he painted that. Six months later, it's all peeling up. This stuff, if you pressure wash very well, I'm talking pressure wash, you can't have no dirt, dust, grime, moss, nothing adheres to uh, that kind of surface. You can apply whatever product you want. I, got, I use a lot of BMIs, I drive it, and uh, products. If you call me and say, Kirk, which one do you recommend? I'd tell you uh, which ones to avoid. We kind of don't go there. I'll show you something else, guys. Um, by the way, cool bike. This one of Jay's, he collects bikes. My, my neighbor here, he said, Kirk, uh, what product can I use 
And I said, well, get some stair paint. He said, what about all your products? And I thought, man, it's not for stairs. He did this a few years ago. And I said, if you do it, if you do it on wooden stairs, these are wood. I said, you're going to have to redo it every year. Well, it's been a few years, and he hasn't touched it yet. But it's not specifically made for wood. It's made for a concrete base such as stucco. I'll show you one more thing. Okay, guys, this is the video that got a lot of response because some people said you can't use an acrylic for stucco walls on stairs. You can. It's just a drag to clean it. But these are slip proof. They're water resistant. And I'm not sure Jay says that this will film well because he said the sun's here. So anyway, you get an idea of other, uh, other things you can do with specific products. Now, again, I use it for stucco walls. Let me go back over here and show you one more time. All right, guys, I'll give you one more idea how this works. Since Lou already did this and did a nice job, I'm gonna, I watered this down a little bit because it's been setting for a couple days. You water it down just like that so you could spread it. That's for my buddy uh, Jerry Pozo who works for BMI who called me and said, man, I wish I had known that. Uh, you can do this stuff. For my other buddy, Bowser, who I did a video where I was whining about having hep C. He says, Kirk, laughter's the best medicine. He sent me, he sends me jokes every day. This morning I was just reading one and my wife come in. She says, baby, what's so funny? And I said, read this. It goes like this. The teacher's in the classroom and she says, can any of you guys use the word fascinate in a sentence? And little Mary raises his hand and says, yeah, we went to a farm and my grandfather sheared off some hair from a, a sheep. It was fascinating to watch. And she says, no, no, uh, I just want the word fascinate. Another little girl raises her hand and says, we went to the Grand Canyon. I was fascinated by the sights. And she says, no, no kids, I want fascinate not fascinating or fascinated and little Johnny raises his hand and she rolls her eyes and thinks oh man Johnny's out there but he's like ooh, 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 I know I know so she says okay Johnny what he says well my sister has this blouse with 10 buttons but her boobs are so big she could only fascinate I thought that was pretty funny my wife thought it was hilarious so Bowser keeps sending me them jokes every day they're pretty humorous Getting back to this, guys, this is how easy it is. You just, you just brush it on. I'm doing the second coat right here because we're about to leave for work, and I'm leaving all these cones because somebody will walk on it and write their name in it. Anyway, guys, this is an acrylic product. You can use it for other things other than walls. I do, but if for clients, I don't. I just use it for friends, family, and uh, especially when I'm trying to get rid of some, like, all of that stuff that I can't take back because they're special colors and special orders. Anyway, guys, my name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. My brother Lou did this. We thank you for watching, and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching, and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below, and also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching, and from the entire Giordano family, we'll see you on the next one.